This program is brought to you through the support of the following sponsors. Beautiful morning, friends, and welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron De Los Reyes. Today, I'm coming to you from Sagada in the Mountain Province. This is the, one of the rare times that uh, we get to travel to Sagada. And this is made possible by Isuzu Philippines Corporation. And we have a drive from uh, Quezon City and then Pampanga and then going all the way to Baguio and then here in Sagada. I'm at a place called uh, Pogo and later on, makikita po natin yung Sea of Clouds in the area. It's a beautiful creation of uh, nature and uh, this trip is made possible because of the very reliable vehicles uh, like the Isuzu D-Max. D-Max and uh, we camped actually at the house of uh, Sol using these uh, roof tents and some awning uh, tents. It was uh, very cold uh, last night, uh, maybe around uh, 17 degrees, which is tolerable. This is a very interesting, exciting adventure again because Isuzu is known for uh, bringing media and its uh, customers to uh, places like this, which is uh, seldom uh, visited. Suzu Philippines Corporation embarked on another adventure drive. This was to Sagada Mountain Province. This is the second time since 2008 that IPC is bringing its media partners to the much talked about rugged but beautiful destination. We first assembled at the Tron, where we saw the Isuzu D-Max and UX lineup to be used in the journey. Starting in Pampanga, we'll go on a 300 plus kilometer drive to Segada Mountain Province to test the new off-road and the safety features of the D-Max on this scenic yet challenging drive up north. Of course, we will be joined by our friend from the media and the influencer group. We will each take turns in driving the D-Max in this three-day overlanding activity. We drove to Rosario in La Union and proceeded to Baguio Country Club. Here, IPC President Tetsuya Fujita Welcome to us. We then traveled on a convoy going all the way to Sagada, with stops along the way. There were so many twisty roads, but our Isuzu vehicles responded very well to the challenges. We even encountered rains along the way. The roads became more challenging as we moved closer to Sagada. Traffic situations in some towns delayed our arrival at the campsite.
but eventually we reach our campsite under rains. We were welcomed by Robert Carlos, Assistant Division Head for Sales of IPC. Joel Conrad Pedro, Chief Adventure Officer of Overland Kings, also shared with us some words. The dinner and bonfire follow. Then we checked in at our respective tents at the camp. The following day, we woke up early to go to the popular Sea of Clouds in Sitio Pogo, some 15 minutes away. Nakikita tayo sa entrance, uh, going to uh, Pogo. There is a uh, facility there, ito kami nagbe-breakfast. And uh, ito, nagang off-road uh, driving ito sa Sagada. Of course, this is an adventure drive using the Isuzu D-Max. So we are now entering this very narrow road going to Pogo. Uh, ipang Pogo ito, ang pangalan lang yun ng anak, sitio. Hindi yung Pogo na nire-rate. <laughs> ang ganda talaga rito sa ano, sa Gada. Uy, ito pala house. Nabalaw na truck. So, tutulungan nila ngayon and makang i-winch nila. Meron silang kable na gamitin pang rescue uh, dito sa nabalahaw na, na light truck. Tingnan natin. Okay. We had breakfast and coffee amidst the breathtaking view of the clouds below us. Oh, beautiful morning here in Sagada. This is at uh, Kiltipan and uh, we are watching this spectacular sea of clouds up here in one of the mountains in Sagada, Kiltipan. And this is also where we are going to have our breakfast. In fact, uh, our colleagues are already having their breakfast. It's beautiful. <laughs> we then drove to more destinations in Sagat. Hi there, friends. Uh, magandang waga po sa inyong lahat. Ron here, greeting you from Sagada, <laughs> kami po ay uh, driving in Convoy 7 Suzu D-Max. Papasok mo kami. Dito sa Rock Inn and Cafe. Itong Rock Inn, tilala sa kanyang uh, orange uh, farm. And with us in this trip is uh, Robert uh, Carlos, our good friend from Isuzu Philippines, and also our goat me. Sayang walang goat dito ah. Yes, alright. Wala pa. And this is the second time for Isuzu to bring our colleagues in the media to uh, Sagada. And uh, is this your first time in Sagada or? You've no, been here before? many times. Uh, many times many already. Times, uh, we did with the Isuzu. And because uh, it's not just uh, for me, but also for regular test drive. Mm -hmm. 
this time we want to uh, take the vehicle, the name being uh, so with the media here in the uh, beautiful uh, place in Sagada. We always want to, to communicate with our uh, told the customers that the vehicle is really reliable and endurable. In the evening, we were serenaded with songs by local artists while we were having dinner. Okay, uh, Sagada is not new to me. I, I've been here many times, either on a vehicle or on a bicycle. This time, with the uh, Isuzu D-Max, na uh, outfitted with uh, Overland Kings na camping gear. This is the first time that I've actually spent outdoors overnight on a field surrounded by trees. I'm very thankful to Isuzu for for giving me this opportunity to experience Sagada on an outdoor setting with the best camping gear and of course with the best vehicles on an Isuzu D-Max. This is another adventure drive uh, with Isuzu and it uh, reminds me of my uh, past uh, uh, rides and drives with uh, Isuzu, particularly the Australian Safari of uh, 1997, kung saan naging defending champion ang uh, Isuzu uh, trooper at the time. No? Buti nga ngayon, magaganda na yung mga tent natin. Eh. <laughs> no, talaga, very basic. Eh. And then uh, we went up to Mount Apo. Huh? Ito, souvenir ko from Mount Apo, 2006. Yesterday, from the start of our drive from Pampanga, going all the way to uh, Rosario in La Union and then Baguio, iba talaga yung feel. And then, uh, I was a passenger uh, on the Isuzu D-MAX uh, 2024. Dito talagang napatunayan yung power ng Isuzu D-MAX. No? Lalo na sa mga akyatan, sa Baguio, and then uh, dito sa Sagada. Itong Sagada, mas malupit ito eh, dahil makitid yung mga daan. Ano? Still uh, comfortable at the back. Uh, walang tagtag and uh, we were not swaying at all even if we were uh, passing the, the twisties. Well, thank you to Isuzu for inviting us once again to uh, this, this drive. Sila talaga yung nanguna ano, sa mga ganitong uh, drive. No? Uh, kung saan sa kami nakarating, no? halos buong Pilipinas nalibot ng Isuzu. Today is quite another experience because it's a lifestyle change no? <laughs> for the participants. No? Hats off to Isuzu Philippines for bringing us once again to this uh, adventure. I think uh, our viewers should try the uh, Isuzu D-Max and they should visit uh, Sagada at least once in their lifetime. This is a very good place uh, for activities and uh, maganda talaga rito sa Sagada. No? At tulungan din natin yung local economy dito. Join us again next week as we bring you the second and concluding part of our Isuzu Sagada Media Drive. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated recently inaugurated its new state-of-the-art training center and parts warehouse in Santa Rosa, Laguna. This investment highlights HCPI's commitment to providing exceptional customer service through empowered dealer partners. A formal ribbon-cutting ceremony marked the official launch of the Honda Training Center and Parts Warehouse. 
followed by a guided tour of the facility with attendees. The event was graced by Toru Chiba, General Manager for Customer Service of Asian Honda, and HCPI President Ri Miyake, alongside representatives from Honda Logistics Philippines, Dualtech School, and Honda Cars Dealership Partners. Today we are here at the site of the Honda Cars Philippines uh, in the Santa Rosa Laguna for the inauguration ceremony of the new service training center and also starting the operation of the new parts warehouse. So with this uh, new parts warehouse, uh, we are expecting to uh, provide the customers for the better customer experience uh, with the more efficient supply operation of the Honda Genuine pair parts and also the Honda Genuine accessories. The new facility boasts a modern service training center designed to replicate real-world dealership settings. Uh, this training center is about uh, uh, 2,000 square meters. The training center focuses on uh, elevating customer experience. So we do soft training and also we do uh, hard training. Soft training is the interpersonal skills and the hard training is focusing on uh, uh, technical uh, training for the mechanical repair and body and paint repair. One of the highlights is its interactive technician training using the latest body and paint technology. Technicians will use state-of-the-art equipment to learn vehicle maintenance and repair. Additionally, the center supports the active reception process, honing the skills of dealership personnel to provide seamless after-sales experience. In partnership with Honda Logistics Philippines, HCBI has also expanded its parts warehouse. Equipped with advanced storage solutions and modern equipment, the facility promises faster and more reliable access to genuine Honda parts and accessories for dealerships. The first Metro Manila dealership of JMC Philippines was just inaugurated in Pasig City through the partnership of Astara and Autohub Group. Located along Si Raimundo Avenue, JMC Pasig showcases its flagship vehicles including the Grand Avenue and Vigus pickups. These models underscore JMC's commitment to providing high-quality and versatile vehicles that cater to the personal and business needs of Filipinos. JMC Philippines Sales Director MJ Del Pilar highlighted that the new dealership opening is a significant milestone in JMC's expansion in the country. Meanwhile, Autohub Group President Willie T. Ten emphasized that JMC Pasig is set to redefine the market by offering innovative alternatives in the pickup segment. Today, uh, Autohub is very excited to uh, launch uh, the first JMC dealership under the Autohub Group. Uh, we're here in C. Raimundo in Pasig, which we will call JMC Pasig. Uh, the showroom is good enough for four cars, so the total area is about 2,000 square and uh, we're very excited that uh, you can see uh, the JMC uh, vehicles right in the center of Metro Manila. With the support of global automotive leader Astara, JMC Pasig is poised to make a significant impact on Metro Manila's pickup market. Prior to this opening, 
JMC Philippines established dealerships in Butuan and Davao in Mindanao. To all of you out there, uh, please uh, do drop by JMC Pasig here at Sea Raimundo. Uh, test drive the vehicle and I'm sure you're going to be very, very happy with the, with the pickup truck. Suzuki Philippines kicks off the festive months with its Tis the Season of Savings promo, offering great savings for the Ertiga Hybrid and the Espresso. Interested customers can drive home the Ertiga Hybrid with a down payment of as low as 78,000 pesos or enjoy a 60,000 peso cash discount. Suzuki Philippines is also offering a free one-month amortization promo for the Ertiga Hybrid GLX-80 variant, which runs until December 31, 2024. This special offer is available to all customers who opt for a financing plan with a 20% down payment and a 60-month term through partner banks. Meanwhile, the Suzuki Espresso is available with a down payment as low as 59,000 pesos or a 32,000 peso cash discount. To learn more about Suzuki's Tis the Season of Savings promo, visit the nearest Suzuki Auto Dealership or check out suzuki.com.ph. And with this uh, beautiful view in, in the background, beautiful Sa Sagada, we'd like to bring to a close another edition of Auto Review. Thank you to Isuzu Philippines Corporation for again inviting us to this adventure. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pagsabaybay and drive safely all the time. <laughs>